Hello and welcome back to JavaScript Girl in a .NET World. My name is Alyssa Neichel, your usual host. And with me today, I have a very special friend, Layla. Layla codes it on that side. Yeah, I did it right. Hi, Layla. How are you doing? I'm good. I think you're going to like it. I hope you like it. Like, I think a lot, I put this in the one before this. There's a lot to love about me. I'm an all-inclusive sort of gal with more guidelines than the average JavaScript developer requires. This makes me easier for newbies and .NET peeps to pick up, right? So it's like, very similar. When I've I have done Angular, let's be okay, honest. Okay, okay, okay. I've done Angular JS, yay, because oh. I had to do Umbraco, and that relies on Angular JS. Okay. And then I've done Angular two and Angular four. Okay. Um, I have done React as well. I have done Vue. I How have... did you feel about React? How'd that go? <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, <laughs> I've done Vue. I quite like Vue. Um, I've done, oh, what was that one that was ages and ages ago? I had a wonderful book. Um, I think it begins with an E. Ember? Uh, Ember. I did Ember as well. You loved Ember? <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, I haven't done Svelte. I haven't uh, either. I haven't done Svelte or, or you, Quick. React. I want to know. What's, it, what's the, the, the other one? There's No, I haven't done that. I've done the big ones, React, Angular. I've done a week's training course on React as well. I had to when Ooh. I worked at Twilio. It was just, yeah, JSX next. Gives that's me it. the willies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's honestly, there's so many. I was doing the... Um, the JavaScript, uh, the survey, and it reminded me of others that I had like totally forgot about, things like Nuxt. And my husband was like, what the flip is that? And I was like, oh, it's a React framework. And he's like, frameworks need frameworks? Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, React does. <laughs> it was funny. I was at um, uh, NDC Oslo. Yeah. And they had a thing at the end and it was a JS JavaScript quiz. It was like, who wants to be a millionaire? And they had us all doing it on a lunch um, thing okay. uh, on the lunch break. Yeah. And so I, I couldn't be bothered to do it. So I was sat with Nick Chapsus and he's like, okay, I'm going to do it. And I said, we'll do it together then. And he said, so we, we've got the, it's multiple choice, you know, through this thing. So they're asking yeah. the questions from the stage right in the middle of the arena. Yeah. And he's like, I, I don't do any front end, so I don't know. And I'm like, okay. So we start going through it. And I say what I think the, the answer is. He's like, no. So he chooses a different answer. And he, I was right. And he, it, like after three of those, he's like, okay, I'm going to listen to you on this now. Um, and I, we got like, I think like 75% of them right because of, you know, he was like, how can that be so? Like, and not a number is a number, you know, and things like that. And he was like, what, but I don't understand. Why is this? And, and I said, it's just JavaScript. Cause I, <laughs> I did a lot of JavaScript. My very first talk was on, uh, mustache and handlebars and JavaScript templating. I didn't do, my first talk wasn't on jo .NET and C sharp. It was on JavaScript. <laughs> yes. Honestly, I love it in all the quirks. I'm, I struggle to like, with .NET, like learning it to, um, I don't know, like I, when, when you learn JavaScript and that's the only thing you know, it's normal. And so then when you learn other things and you're just like, you know, C sharp and you're just like, why doesn't it work this way? Like it's, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I think you've gone, my own thoughts on how you've learned it is that you've gone really into the depth on like the, the sort of weird stuff. <laughs> like blazer and maui and you just need to build a flipping mvc app that's mm -hmm. it you just need to come back to the basics basics yeah oh, or... mvc what is that like if you're you're talking about a basic mvc app does that build for desktop or what is what is that no so like if we're talking web i would say the easiest oh, thing okay. would be a, an mvc so that's model view controller that's what that stands for it's a, a pattern that's not specific to .NET, but we call it mvc and it's still that yes but i think Alyssa has already done I enough done to do console okay so we've done console together yeah. but when i'm talking about like the web apps and going into blazer and all of these things um i think you could learn so much by just doing a, a um mm. an mvc app rather than worrying because i i've been working on blazer the last few weeks and it is so pernickety it's really 
you know, it's fragile. It it makes everything blow up. My visual you, studio keeps going. How do you potty. feel people are, especially like longtime .NET people, are taking Blazor? Like, do you think they're loving it? Do you think they're struggling with it? Like, do you have a vibe check on it? I was just curious. I, I don't think anybody in actual business, apart from a handful of people who probably have MVPs working for them is, is using it. They will all be using either MVC, so completely served, or they will be using, um, they'll be using, uh, but Fuel Snable, you're here, you're on streams, you're pushing yourself, but most developers aren't doing that. Mm -hmm. They're what they call like the, the, the dark matter developers they're the things that you don't don't come and don't watch streams don't watch youtube turn up to their day job they barely even know that there's a youtube okay um and so they'll just be using mvc it is awesome um and that or they'll be using web api which is similar to mvc and a front-end framework such as angular mm -hmm. uh, so so many of the templates uh, about eight years ago was um dot net Backend with an Angular front end. That's how you could get the template. So that's why so many .NET developers know Angular because it was mm. in the templates and, oh. you know, it was uh, trying and TypeScript was C sharp like. Right. Um, so it was very. Um, Is there like a, a person or people there that was pushing those two together, like to make sure it was part of the template or to, because like it was, it happened on the Angular side too of like pushing us into TypeScript because there was a while there where things like CoffeeScript or like like roll your own were an option and then all I of a sudden remember. it was just TypeScript. So I didn't know if there was like, I, I feel like there's like some key players <laughs> that were like buddies that were like, let's push these yeah, two together. <laughs> I can't remember who made Angular. I can't remember that. You shut your mouth, Napalm. <laughs> Who did Coffee Angular there? JS? Who created um, that? Oh, so that was Google. So I don't know. Um, but we, it was Angular 2 where that really started coming into the templates. Mm -hmm. um, That's really so interesting. Yeah, because it has from both sides been pushed together. Yeah. So um, Microsoft wrote TypeScript. They created that um, because it was kind of C-sharpy thing. Hmm. Um, so things like that. Um, so I, I, I don't recall, I've written far too much TypeScript over the years. Hmm. Um, I wouldn't say that they use classic. Um, I would <laughs> what say do they most, use? Um, no, they're going to be, they're going to be on framework and if we're lucky, they'll be on core. Um, they are going to be doing, um, C sharp. They're going to be uh, but they're going to be on framework and they're going to be doing MVC. They might be doing web forms. Um, um, and that's it. They're, then I don't think there's still a lot of classic apps, but they're, they're not being actively maintained. And uh, do you like with Blazor and with Maui, you're like, you're doing these like edge case things, but in my mind from like the hype, they were like the thing to do. No. <laughs> I guess that's just marketing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so there's a big difference between people like us, Alyssa, whose job it is to go out and speak about these technologies and right. we have the time and the freedom to go and learn about them. Yes. And then the developer in the workplace who can't what is on your microphone? Is it still there? It's like no, a you, fluff. You know, you were doing something. There was like a fluff. There was a fluff okay, on it. Okay. I had to get off the fluff. <laughs> <laughs> so um you know they they no, i've forgotten what i was saying because i got distracted so you know my ex so. company still ran classic and prod yeah there's a lot of it but it's probably not being actively updated it's just maintained mm. um yeah if you want to like do that to yourself and pay the mortgage do it. There's money to be made by all of these legacy languages, you know? Mm. Uh, okay, so it's updated. Well, that's just laziness. Um, and there is also, if it, I mean, well, with classic, I think there's loads of security loopholes. So um, there's lots oh, of things that right. can be. So, right. um, 
you know, is yeah, I know like Chad is going, oh, this company's that, this company, of course, there's going to be loads of people still on it, but the vast majority of people mm. are going to be most likely on framework or they may have made the leap to um, core 3.1. Mm. Um, and then, so they're on older systems. Um, so, you know. Yeah, honestly, like what Phil's saying, but like I'm imagining it from the like framework or library authors of like having to forever <laughs> support that. And like, I know I feel for Microsoft, it seems uh, like a daunting task because there's just they so don't. many. They don't. Oh, they, just they don't retire all their stuff. Yeah. Loads they of them really? retire. They're just like, I. <laughs> Oh, move to that six one. What's the latest? <clears throat> Seven. Seven. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, so I will just, I'm just going to show you some things and you can tell me because you have done Angular. Okay. If it sounds familiar, if you're like, yes, this is boring. Or if you're like, oh, this is news. Oh, I'm just treat me like a noob. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> some building blocks. Components are basically everything in Angular, especially with this latest push to get rid of modules, which we'll talk about. Okay. Um, dependency injection is really important, and I think a big differentiator between other front-end frameworks or libraries. Um, directives, we'll talk about uh, the CLI, which was really hard for me to get used to. Uh, what, what is it called? IDE world? in .NET because I was so used to doing things with the CLI. Like I lived and died by you the can CLI. Still, I use the CLI loads. I feel like when I did that on stream or when I did that on stage, like used like the terminal commands in the CLI with .NET, people would like cringe at me. And they'd no, like, they're not cringing. They're just saying, <laughs> oh my God, that's so cool. <laughs> it's one of those, another Britishism. This means... <laughs> Uh, and then first party libraries, um, things like in order to make the, the default core package of the framework lighter, they only included like the bare bones. So you will then include like if you need routing, you include routing and that's uh, okay. it is maintained. Those things are like maintained and written by Google and it's still part of the framework, but it's kind of like a ad hoc like for like bigger chunks that you can add in. Um, so components being the big mama of Angular, um, TypeScript class with a little at component decorator at the top. And it has things like a selector, which is how you're going to, so like let's say we have a dashboard component and I name it app-dashboard or dashboard-cool or whatever. That's your selector and that is going to be uh, used on maybe your main page to pull that in, right? You write that in the HTML. Um, they are also HTML templates, optional CSS styles if you want per component basis, and then even functionality that you can put in there. Um, so this is an example of a component. Uh, you can see the at component decorator and the selectors app heroes. So wherever I want to use this component, I'll put app dash heroes in the DOM and that will pull in that component with its styles and all of its functionality. Um, this is what I love about Angular over something like React is um, everything has to be in line in React and it really drives me crazy because I'm a front of the front ender and I spend a lot of time in CSS or SCSS or what have you. And so um, I know it sounds childish, but like being able to separate my template out into its own like style sheet or my you like styles into their own style sheet um, is like really important to me because then like if we go for it, I can scroll down and show you that down here is going to be where like logic for this template lives, right? So ng on init is going to call this dot get heroes. And then down below, I have this like the get heroes that is defining some functionality when that component bootstraps and initializes that's being called. So I like, I, I know a lot of Angular people though, who will inline everything. And like, you can, you can totally, instead of putting template URL there, you can just say template and then just do it. Um, and depending again on how ant you go, you know, with like ant design where it's like, everything should be its <laughs> my my uh my button text should be its own component right like depending on how small and uh reusable you want to get with your architecture it would it might make like uh, seriously if your template's one line it might make sense to 
just put it in line. So, yes, there's that intro. I heard a boop, like someone has joined us. Let me check real quick. The Coded Elf has joined us. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays, Coded. Are you here to learn Angular? <laughs> What's that? Santa oh. uses Blazor. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Coded Elf is always watching. Oh, we love you, Coded that's, Elf. That's not creepy and disturbing at all. <laughs> I removed him. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so uh, did this all question was like old news and you totally are like, yeah, I get it. I know about um, So some of this is familiar. I'm okay. not sure about the component thing. I'm not sure about that. Um, so I have used, is it JSX and TSX? And I think that's like the inline templating. And that's a little bit like Razor in my mind. Mm. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and there's mm -hmm. nowhere safe on the internet, Feel Just remember that. So um, what did Feel say? <laughs> I thought this was a safe place. Oh, <laughs> I don't control coded elf. Oh, have... you think he's cool, Ed? You think he's cool? Of course. Oh, you Ed would. He he's likes cool. blazer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we should poke yours and the elves' eyes out. <laughs> Sorry, is that a little bit too violent for a coded live stream? I think it was just a little bit violent for where you live. I feel like. Oh, you. No, no, no. Country is passive aggressive. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so components are your bread and butter, right? They're the big, the okay. big, the big thing. Um, nesting components. When a mommy component loves a daddy component very much. <laughs> I only say that because the common pattern is referred to as a parent or a child component. Um, and then I use these little arrows here to talk about inputs and outputs. But essentially. Nested components are just components that are sharing data between themselves. And in order to do it cleanly, there should really be like one parent component that is like controlling that data flow and then a child component that consumes it. Um, and so um, that's like, let me show you what an example. Um, so here I am saying import input from Angular Core and component also. They both come from Angular Core. And then I am using input to say, I'm going to, in this hero card component, receive something called hero, right? Look out for hero. Hero should come to me. And then in the actual template of this component, I'm using it to build out the hero card, right? I'm pulling hero.name, I'm pulling hero.alias, et cetera. And then in the dashboard where I'm actually utilizing this component, this is where you say hero dash card, you'll yeah. see that I'm actually plugging in a value for hero. And dashboard component in this case would be the parent that is provide or it is re responsible for getting hero and for giving it to the child, which is hero card. So I'm going to put all of these side by side and kind of point these out. So that's where up top you've got the parent component who's including hero card, who is our child component, right? And this, like, to me, like, inputs and, like, passing in things is, and, like, components is, like, the main thing with Angular of, like, this is how these building blocks work and how you end up building really large web apps. Does that all make sense? It's all kind of, like, really super Yeah, basic. I think once I see it going, will you just take um, code with Sean's comment down? He's yeah. like, why oh. are you leaving it out? I can't. So when I am in full screen know. mode, oh, you wait, don't okay. know anything. I can't. I can't see any chats. You need multiple monitors, Alyssa. <laughs> Lila's been on me for years to use multiple monitors. I know. Honestly, I know. I'll be better. I love you. I all. don't know how you function with a mere one. I think it's. I think it's an ADHD badly. Thing. Badly is how badly. you function. I. <laughs> Uh, directives in Angular. Ha ha. I have tricked you. You have already learned one. Ha ha. <laughs> Components are oh, directives. Nom, nom, nom. Yes. I know, right? Okay. This looks, uh, and this is an actual recipe card that I... <laughs> this is what my recipe cards look like. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is with the countdown on the far right? I wanted... <clears throat> there was the original recipe that had two teaspoons of paprika. One and a half teaspoons of salt. But I wanted it all in tablespoons because I wanted to make a massive batch. 
So we, <laughs> I was trying to do the math to like eight tablespoons, four tablespoons, two tablespoons. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I was like, <laughs> Anyways, you've already learned a directive in Angular. Directive is another buzzy word that is very Angular okay. specific, like modules. Um, you won't hear of directives or modules in React or Vue or what have you. Um, components is a directive. There's also, you can write your own directives. There's attribute directives, structural directives. I thought outside of components, let's just talk about the other two common directives that I okay. use all the time. And ng-if and ng-4 are very commonly used. Um, these are things that you can put in line in your markup to make the DOM do something, right? Structurally change it. So I can show or hide an element based on a variable with ng-if, or I can dynamically generate um, markup with ng4. And so I think, yes, this is my to-do list for today. I think we'll get the first two done. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I was very ambitious. I said, oh, let's just like go crazy with our to-do list. And then like, whatever we get, I, I really don't care. We can just get the first one done. So um, I want to show you, I wanted to see if you wanted to drive or if you would like me to, um, cause I really just want to like generate a new app it. and start. You want me it. to do it? Yay! Is yes. that what you want? Okay. Yes! Okay. So we've uh, got to get you the Angular CLI. Okay. So let me just move this up here. I'm going to just change the display settings of this monitor because uh, let me bring it up because it's going to be a little bit too big right now, but, uh, Oh, what a pretty red bird. A pretty it's red a bird. Cardinal. I know. I call them red birds. And I was like, Daniel, Daniel, look, there's a red bird outside. And his father thought he was so funny. And he was like, no, mommy, that's a red ball. So <laughs> now every time there's a red bird outside, my little boy goes, red ball, red ball. I'm like, it's not a red ball in our tree, boys. God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so um, we don't have those in this country. I have only seen them once in. Shut in... Up. No, we don't have those. I have a monitor. I can give you for free. No, I have. I could just open my laptop. She's right here. Can I show you? Can I? Is she, is she long enough? My laptop's right here. She's right next to it on a little stand. So she's doing open... absolutely sweet Ethel. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's make a dir. Um, oh, I love making a dir. Oh. I call it Angular. I'm so excited. PD into Angular. I ah. can tell I'm really... What are we building? Is it your... What are we going to build? It's an app. What, what's this app going to do, Alyssa? It's going to have components that talk to each other and... Uh, is it a to-do list? Is it a, like, display something? Let's do um, holiday recipes, and we'll make okay. cards of holiday recipes. Okay. If Alyssa doesn't use her second monitor, I have a feeling Coda Elf might show up and start asking questions. Please try. Please try. Uh, better than Red Rum. I don't – what is Red Rum? Blazer. Red Rum. Cowbell? Red Rum. No. What is happening? What is – What? <laughs> What? Is this a framework I don't know about? Uh, red rum is murder spelt backwards. <laughs> and it's from, it was written on the mirrors in The Shining, I believe. Red oh. rum. Oh, there you go. Thindles. Thindles here. Aren't you supposed to be converting web forms to .NET 7? Was it written on the mirror backwards because... It, just don't ask, okay? If just you're in the mirror... No I don't focus. Know. We have a very big stop. <laughs> Alyssa, stop. Back you to have this. the Angular CLI okay. downloaded. No, why would I have that? Can I NPM it? Uh, yeah, Angular okay. CLI. Um, la, la, like la, that. La, 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 la. Uh -huh. No. Let me. Oh, I, I have I don't... to. I I have to eye it. All right, that's coming. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You you do like my favorite things today. You made a dir. You CD'd into it. We put, we're we hitting my favorite checklist. <laughs> what are your favorite things? <laughs> um, okay, ng new. Oh, you already made. It. You're just... such a dot net developer. Um, what do you mean? I've already made a what? You already made the. 
repo name, which is weird because the Angular CLI will do that for you. Because you'll. Oh, hear- all right, I can delete it if you prefer. Or you could just have nestled names. I don't really. It's just folders within folders. Really, our whole universe is just folders within folders. So. Right, and you knew. <laughs> the name of the app. Can't I just do ng new? Maybe. I don't know what's going to happen. Take it from the parent. Is it mad at you? Did you download Uh, the wrong thing? Let's see. Glob. (laughs) Mojo. Glob. Hey, God. I want to make sure you downloaded the right thing. Uh, Angular. NPM install. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You downloaded the wrong thing. (laughs) I love you. (laughs) Please don't be mad at me. (laughs) This is what you were supposed to download. I don't know what you downloaded on your computer i'm sure it's fine because it's on npm and nothing bad's ever been published to npm so no of course <laughs> not <laughs> <Wee! laughs> okay um just don't ask layla to create a route you never know what you're going to get what does that mean <laughs> what does that mean routes was on our to-do list <laughs> what did you do what did you do i layla? did nothing I did nothing. And I said, um, <laughs> oh, I can't say? even remember what we said. Oh, yes. He said, let's do, um, we're going to add this, um, a root component. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I added a root component. R-O-U-T-E, root. And then. Oh, God. So you made a route route? You made No, a- I made a. A root, a root rather route? than a, a root. <laughs> and Ed wanted me to put a root, R O O T. But yeah, I I'm with you on root, the root. R O U T E. Yeah. Because context, he didn't say what type of root he wanted. Ah, there we go. Um, okay, so there here I have node modules. So did it not create what I wanted? It's put. It's done stuff, Alyssa. What did do you I know? say? You, did you say ng new? No, maybe I didn't do that. And you knew. Now that we downloaded the oh, no, look. real deal. What the frick is going on? I can't on? find glob. Who is this glob? Are you able to download things from NPM? I, I, what? You want me to go and... Okay, let's go Can and do you? This, Are then. you, like, do you have the capabilities? Have you... Yes, <laughs> I do. Cheeky <laughs> now. Well, you don't have globs, so what? Are, what is glob? I don't know. I have no oh, idea. My goodness, <laughs> am I going to have to do it like here now? Module not download found. Angular. I I was just it's just okay. Angular. Uh-huh. No, we're not going to do that. What? Do what? Say what code was Sean said. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, try if it now scroll. And why is your window so small? Um, oh, you're on a, I don't think that would matter. You're not on the NPM dash version. Right. Yeah, Let's, what's your look, It's version? not ng new, it's like init. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what that's about. Right, let's see. I'm on 8.919.2. <sighs> Let's see what I'm on. Let's, let's compare a terminal version. Yeah, it's... 9.2. Okay, I could update it. Um, that's for building me up. And na, 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 na. Create a new Angular app. Angular app. No, no code at Elf. I will find Code at Elf, hunt it down, mm-hmm. and disembowel it. I think we'll just have to make a Kentucky trip. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, All right. So what do you want me to do? NG, do you want me to try what it says in the documentation? This yeah. Thing? I mean, uh, can you send me that? Because I'm trying to find where you're at. Because, see, you're on quick start. Okay. Angular.io. Yeah, uh, go ahead and try that if you can get anything working, but I'm confused on npm init at Angular my app. Run this command to create your new Angular app. That's really strange. Run this command, cd into your app, right? npm start. 
it's like the that it's like the way to do it without the CLI, which I I guess is more beginner friendly. Like, why would you do something without the CLI? But I'm I don't know. I'm in the CLI. You want me to go here and find it? CLI. Oh my goodness. No, it, you downloaded it globally, right? Because I saw your dash G. Okay. Um, I might I, not have done it globally. Let's do that. I may. You don't have think so? It. Oh, okay. If you, I, if, it's in this folder. So, <laughs> or Buffalo Trace. Are these like eating establishments? <laughs> what What is that? All right. So we're gonna do ng new in a moment. All right. Look. Let's just go and delete what I've written. Okay. <sighs> the things oh, I man. do for you. The things she does for love. Let me do it. Oh, is it? It is. Okay. All right. So cd dot dot up. Okay. So we now should have ng. No, we don't. We're mm. missing blob. Hang on. Let me read. Wrong let me, with this. Hang on. Thing. Cannot find module. Wait. Go back. I want to read what that error actually says. Hey, we're not reading errors. Gonna, I think it's going to haunt us. Um, if we don't, where does it say? Warning. You cannot find module glob roaming and do modules like the CLI. Um, yeah, go ahead and try it without, and I'm going to look up your cannot find module glob. Okay, we're just going to go and delete it. Do -do. There's already an issue reporting this error message. The workaround until the next release. How old is this? 2016. <laughs> It's to install glob, npm install dash dash save glob. There's actually something called glob that one needs. What? All right. That's the Angular CLI. I'm going to delete it and re-add it. Okay. Right. So let's go here. And then what else did I have? What, what was that other magic thing I just downloaded? What did you download? A glob, wasn't it? No. What did I? Um, Angular CLI. That's what you're downloading right now. Yeah. No, I did something else. The one that was wrong. Uh, uh, okay. You're talking it's about gone. It's where fine. you say ng new, or are you saying something else? Okay. It says it already exists. Hang on, let's see. Uh, I don't I'm have that. Sure. Why? Oh I wait, don't... wait, wait, wait. So see what how you're saying error operation not permitted. Somebody uh, was suggesting that you had node installed wonky and maybe your permissions this is why i don't mess with npm nugget <laughs> nugget took me so long to get used to i think both ways have their painful bits people um okay well i just use nougat in the um in the ide i don't bother with the cli okay let's go here and add it here deprecated Deprecated. Deprecated. Yeah, I think you're still getting permission errors. Because, yeah, see, error permission removed. DR. Yeah, you don't have... And I don't know. We can... Um, I don't know if you want to spend the rest of this on nodey bits, but I am totally down. Um, what do you use to manage your node? Um, the <laughs> command line. Uh, like, like, do you have like a node version manager or anything? Below? No. Why no. would I have one of those? To manage your node versions. <laughs> I can't get by without NVM, so I'm a baby. I don't, I don't know voodoo with node. That last All one right, looked like there it we worked. Go. Did it? Well, now we've got it because I shut up it as an administrator. Oh, you're so fancy. So okay. you should be able to say ng new now. You should. All right. Let's or ng go. anything actually would tell us. Like, let's see. You need to specify a command. Okay. So it's oh, there. Okay. It's fine. It's there. It is happy now. All right. Ng new holiday recipes. Would you like to share pseudonym? Pseudonym? Pseudon? No, go away. Why would I want to do that? Pseudonymous. That means, would you like to add angular routing, Alyssa? Sure, why not? Yes. And this one's all on you. Uh, I use SCSS. So go down and, and with the arrow and yeah, yeah. 
And then I mean, can... I I could just use CSS. I'm good with that. Let's go. Why does it matter? Why oh, Ed, go away. I say things proper like. Um, this is so exciting. I can't believe you got the install to work so easily. You're so amazing. What, what you mean with all the errors? How and then, and then you did it as an admin and you didn't even have NBM. I don't know what you did. <laughs> I was like, um, check your no version. <laughs> Why is it yelling at us? It's not yelling at us. Oh, weird warnings. I've never That's seen. fine. It's just the endings. Okay, here is our app. <laughs> Did you just open that in code? Yeah. VS Code. Is that VS Code? It is, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was like actual Visual Studio. I was like, no. Why would I do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. 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 I'm so excited. Okay, see, so you open your source. Your source. Your source has your application. And then your app has your like. <laughs> chunky bits in it okay oh, i'm so excited all right here's my app <laughs> and then look i've got modules oh, your app com oh, oh we haven't talked about those yet but yes app component.html has your main like it's got inline styles that i think hella inline styles like you gotta scroll past for days i know it's disgusting but if you go back to your terminal and ng serve this is what you'll see are like these this template this template from the gods oh my goodness did you mean oh, so yes i did i did mean that thank you so you should have known that and just done it just <laughs> <laughs> i almost asked what that cute squiggly bit is next to your name but then i realized it's visual it's, it's visual studio code behind the terminal <laughs> oh <laughs> it's compiled successfully so now you can go to your, yeah that and your browser okay so yay it's running okay this show is done thanks everybody all right let's make one let's make one component and then we'll wrap uh so in a new window or quit serving your choice of uh, terminal i i don't mind or command what line you? command prompt command what is it called what terminal? do you call it yeah yeah. yeah, so either a new window or mm -hmm. stop running it so you can type. Are you doing dev? <laughs> That's such a cute question. <laughs> yes, I do dev. <laughs> oh my goodness, just lost it, folks. Okay, so NG what am I doing? Okay, so now you're going to generate. So NGG, or you can spell out the word generate. I prefer to say G. Um, and then we're going to say dash C or you can say dash dash component if you want to be. Do so I need to be in a particular folder? I'm no. now in the root. No. Okay. Um, and then the name of your component, we're going to call it, let's do cards. We'll do a card component. So like card or cards or recipe card or recipes. What is that noise? It's your brain ticking away. Oh, it's an, a leaf blower outside. <laughs> Same noise. Uh, perfect. You press enter and it should generate it. Not enough mm -hmm. options. Um... <laughs> Hang on. Uh, let's do no. I'm following along in my own app. So I'm just going to generate it and find out. What did I do wrong? NG, generate. Dash C, what other options do you need? The name of the component. Who is wanting... Hang on. We're just going to cheat. Generate component Angular. Mm, ng generate component. So instead of dash C, just do C and then name. So no dash. We've got it. Okay. Now we're going to go into this conglomeration, um, the app component HTML that you have, and then, like just like select all of the HTML. Mm -hmm. um, oh, no. Well, that one too. We want stuff here. So you just be like, like H1 card component or leave that one. If we go into app component and we're going to clean up app component because it's got a bunch of like templating craft that we. It's, it's your other tab next to card component. Oh, have, sorry. Have, app. Okay. Yeah. And so select everything in here and erase it. And then just do like an H1 for our app, like holiday recipes. 
And then below that, we're going to include the child component, which is our card component that we just generated. Um, and so its selector, I do believe, is going to be app-card because it's going to namespace it for you. But you can change that um, if you would like. Yes, closing brackets. And then does it complete it for you? Or it's not self-closing. So it's going to be an opening and a closing. Yeah, perfect. Um, now go into card component dot TypeScript. It's yeah that guy right there uh not spec that one's our testing file so this one here has the selector where it's app card so if you want to just change it to card you totally can just get rid of that it's whatever your selector says and then your template is pointing to your template and your styles are pointing to yeah styles. yeah so now we should i don't think we have to i don't know go to your are you in chrome what are you in chrome um and see if we have to restart Yay! <laughs> Super weird. You're welcome. Um, yeah. So I think we can. <laughs> we've created a new Angular app. We have created a component. Check and we've included our component. Um, so I think we'll definitely do a part two where we can do. I'll prep some like we've data got and stuff. Twenty you minutes. Want do you want to do it? I'm not quite hungry yet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What was that? Why is he angry at us? What? That. <laughs> excitement duh. <laughs> okay let's get some data um to pass to pass around okay um so we have a recipe we've we... got a recipe Jens has given us a recipe so oh. there we go for ch hoppy christmas schnapps okay hang on so we've got our first recipe to add and right how do we do it for i'm taking taking a screenshot of it so that I can copy and paste it as text. <laughs> um, do you not do that? Reuse the, you know what I'm talking about? Like it turns text into, no? You're, you're OCR. That one. Character that one. Yes. Because I can't copy it from here because in StreamYard. I just um, copied it. Oh, because you're so fancy. Look at me. You just do it from copy from the bottom up. Oh no, Coded Elf has reappeared. I won't oh. talk to you, Coded Elf. I won't. Um, so in, you could put it in card component, but I want to show us passing in information. So let's okay. go ahead and do it into our app component. But we're going to pass it down. Yes, into TypeScript. And then so in here, we need to create, um, I don't know, an opt. Just an opt. Where are you? I don't Where know. Is she? I'm here now. Right. Uh, go to app component dot ts. No. Oh my goodness, I'm lost. App okay. component. Okay, so below title, um, let's create something called recipes, and let's make it. I don't know, an object. Sure. Why not? Like I don't know what you want it like that. That's an array. Uh, objects with the squiggles. Oh, you want it? Okay, so you want it uh -huh. like that. Yeah. And then let's create key value pairs, maybe, and like the recipe name, or do we want IDs? I hate this part of okay, programming. No, it's fine. <laughs> this is a collection now. You've got recipes. So how do you make a collection? Are you talking about an object? I think she's talking about an object. No, you've got recipes. Are you not going to have multiple recipes in here? Yeah, like you go enter, and then you... How do I do this without typing? <laughs> Okay, I've pressed enter. And then, and then you give it a key, have... so like zero, colon. I can't work! Oh, you want it to look... Okay, so you got like recipe one. Yes! Recipe two. Okay, yes. so you want JavaScript objects like that. Okay, so we're going to have it... Okay, we've got it. And then here, we're going to have um, recipe is what this? Uh-huh. Uh, what they just sent you, right? Yeah, perfect. And then name, maybe like a recipe name or just name. And what title? is this called? Is this what was it? Christmas. Uh, here's recipe for Christmas so, schnapps. Yeah, cut that out and then get hoppy. Rid of the... Hoppy Christmas schnapps. And then, okay. Yeah. And then down here we'll have name, um, chili. Salsa, eggs, and a recipe. And I think it's just don't. 
Yeah, there we go. There's two recipes for you. <laughs> okay, so we should now be able to add those into our cards. Um, so let's go into our card component and have an input. Um, Is that here? Like uh, in, inside the class. We'll go ahead and say at input and it's capital I. Um, at input, and then it's going to be called, what, what is this? Recipes, I guess? Recipes. Um, and now you're going to do something that you're going to hate, but I just, you know, we'll, we'll fix it next time. Um, is that how you spell recipes? I think that is how you spell recipes. It just looks wrong because of the underlined squiggle. Um, recipes colon any. <laughs> is it now like that? I don't know. You've made me doubt how to spell well, recipe. I don't know. I'm like, it's oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh How do we get this recipe? Recipe. Yes, it was wrong. It was wrong. <laughs> I'm like, is it no. pies? I don't. <laughs> I, I don't know. Recipe pies. It's very Col late at night, and I've not colon, had my colon any semicolon. Don't talk about it, anybody. Just go with it. <gasps> <That's> <laughs> my favorite thing. Any, 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 any. Yes. Yes. Okay. After input, I think it wants parentheses. I think it's what's <clears throat> why it's grumpy. <laughs> people always ask me like oh you know i say typescript so easy you just go any 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 and it just works and really we will, okay at me. we will make an interface for our recipes when we have time that's not right now all right okay so it doesn't just calm it doesn't down. like this oh it's because you don't have it um included can you command period on that or does that work for you like is there a i could no no code actions okay so up next to component just do comma Oh, because we're going to import it from the core, um, Angular core. So up at line one, just do component. I was hoping it would do the import for us, but I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you don't have the ang Angular language service installed, no. so it's not. No, 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 sorry. In, in line one, what was line one, you can just one line it. And so import component comma input. Oh, okay. It should should be should be there should be <laughs> should be okay cool I see I've got it now I've, um, this, this is familiar it just takes a while to percolate through the brain we got to go to our actual card and like build out something to like print card crap with right like a okay so like our, our go, card I've got you we need to go into our card whatever it was here and so we need to be like um h uh three uh -huh. this is going to be the the name i'll just put it in like this and then we'll have a paragraph yeah. yep, yep. for uh, recipe details like that so that's what we want to show perfect um and then we'll just um and then so for recipe details we can put um you can do recipe details in a string i like um okay in your paragraph, do bracket, bracket, scroll, go bracket, scroll, go bracket. Oh, okay. Templating. Yeah. Aha, yeah we're going to do some binding. Mm -hmm. And then you can say um, a string of like recipe details and then you can do like pipe, pipe or, you know, the actual thing. Like if you want to have like a backup, we, we don't have to. It's like really any logic can go between. Is this like the name of our recipe? Does this come from our card? Where is it? App component. Should this yes. be this name? Uh. Yes. So, but not as a string. So I was trying to get fancy with it. So here we would just say like, what is it? Recipe dot. How do we drill down into that? You'd have to have like the actual number, right? Well, we're gonna do and because we made our object weird. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't you know. Me to I do. hate this part of it because I'm never with architecting like arch architecting the data so that drilling down is not awkward. I'm always like. So you do you want me to like just like can we can we get rid of the keys? Does it need the keys? It can wanted just, the keys. Yeah. It wanted the keys. We so you do, could we could do an, do array, an array of objects. Yeah, let's try that. Try an array of objects and then just say dot name. But we're still gonna have to specify the first one with the index. But that's okay. I think that's totally fine because that's one less nesting bud that we're gonna need. Uh, wait, go back. I think you had one more too many. Oh, it's just on the same line. You're fine. I, I thought there was too many, but there's not too many. Is that is that better for you? Architecting. Arch chatting. Arch I hate so architecting. Recipe details. What are we passing through? Would it be easier if we did it from the other direction so we know what we're passing through? The other direction? Can you, what? Where, where, where do we pass this through? 
Oh, you're talking. Yeah, the uh huh. Right, mm, what? Okay, so where do we go and get the the title Res- and the recipes? Inside well, the recipes of, inside of our app component dot html. Inside of our app card, we're going to need to do bracket bracket recipes equals recipes because we named it recipes on both ends. No, no sorry, uh, these parentheses. Nope. Square, Square bracket. brackets. <laughs> So <laughs> there's recipes in there and then no objects yet. Just, just, rest, just, just get rid of it. Just one of them. Just uno. You said bracket, bracket. Yeah, so. it's open square bracket, recipes, close square bracket. There we go. I worded properly. And then set that equal to recipes. But that's because what we're passing in is called recipes and what we are giving it is called recipes on both ends, like the parent and the child. Um, the brackets only go around the first one. Yep. And then get rid of that end one. Yep. And then, so that's how it's being passed in, right? And so that's how in our card HTML, it even knows about the input of recipes that we were receiving. Um, or how is it going to do it for each loop? Oh, right. So what I was going to do was just have us do like recipes, square bracket zero dot name, and then just like print it out and then we can do the loop. But if you want in the app card HTML right now, you can just do NG4. And I keep losing can, my stuff. Can all, it. I've got it all big to show things. So where am I going? In here? Uh, NG4. Yes. yes, I am. Built-in directives. I'm pulling it up for you to show you the... Is it just NG or an uh, NG4? How do I type here it? Here is your... This one. Can you pull that up? Your clicker. Can you click on it? With the clicky bits, because I'm super bad at, like, obviously, wording syntax. Like, it's just, like, not my forte. So here is <laughs> here is an ng4 loop for you to look at. Um, if you click on that, um, it will – it's it's just got, like, there, in line. So you got the little asterisk to let it know I'm about to loop – or I'm about to use a directive, ng4, let item of items. So we'll say let recipe of recipes. And then at this point – Anything inside of this div is going to duplicate itself per recipe. So this is where we would put I got a you. card and mm-hmm. H3 and a paragraph and all those. Just rush, 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 rush. I hate it when I have to speak words. Yeah, I'm with you, Aaron. <laughs> I'm with you. I think we're like ingrained with that though you know like with hating the having to talk (laughs) that's why our children just go (laughs) that's why my children just go woof woof Woof, woof. i guess (laughs) Uh, what was what was detail was it details or let's have a look recipe recipe recipe, stuff, recipe. <laughs> now let's just go in here and change that instructions oh nice will you get rid of the first sentence on the first instruction so it's like not duping thanks so very <laughs> demanding <laughs> hmm. what do you name it Oh, instructions. <laughs> Woof. Forgot all about that. <laughs> Ta da. Hubbledy, hubbledy, hubbledy. Hey, she got it. Ooh, ooh. And something sometimes meow. I wish I wasn't allergic. I hear cats are nice. Are you allergic? Me, I'm very allergic to cats. Mm-hmm. So is my mum. Mm-hmm. So is Jim. Mm-hmm. The only person that wasn't allergic to cats was my dad. And he had cats when he met my mum. And he had to get rid of them all. Well, oh. he had a cat. And he was like cats. And then we're like, uh, don't really know. I don't don't know. You see, this is why you lot give me lots of cats. It's like, I don't get it. I don't understand cats. <laughs> oh, okay. So that, I think, I think anything else is going to be a little bit longer than, you know, five-ish minutes. It's but fine. I I've it's, built an Angular app. I Look think it. you it's did. And, and you made a parent component, a child component. They shared data. You used directives like NG4 to loop, right? Like, uh, uh, 
<sighs> she's amazing <laughs> this has been so nice after the like the code i've been writing the last few days <laughs> i know is... but you you had to get into admin mode and do special stuff and it it's was fine it's as fine. easy as i wanted it to be my brain has been like you know when your brain just hurts and it's <laughs> like i can't actually figure out how any of this is supposed to work and i'm just going to keep tapping away at this keyboard and hope for the best that's what i've been doing the last two days and I'm so sorry did you finally figure it out though like did you have a oh i figured it all out it's oh. fine it worked first time yesterday i made my app talk to the virtual studio via signal r and make everything happen yeah um and today i've got that into a prettier form and it's doing that so you know um don't give away our trade secrets. Oh, what? Thanks, Signal. Ah, oh, no, no. What's I that? Think, I, I think the trade secret was just keep tapping away at it. <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah. I just like, uh, there's nothing in my brain. It's all fuzz. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to keep typing and something might happen. Then that's what it happened. <laughs> oh, I honestly i love angular and i hope i hope that, that was very you enjoyable so have you. seen the beauty of it a lot of javascripters don't like it because oh well they can go take a running jump can't they because there's so, so many like rules like for instance conventions this... not don't call them rules <laughs> Convention. there are conventions. this is how you do this or routing this is how you do routing it's opinionated it's, not, it's, it's, it's not opinionated. rule based it's opinionated and i don't think and i can survive fine. A the language thing is, or framework that wasn't opinionated. Like, this is it because not. you can go in when you use opinionated or convention based like structure, anyone can go into your code and know how to work it. And that is the beauty of it. That's why I love C sharp. If I just go into like React, I, I don't know. It's like someone just threw up all over the code and jumbled it together and hoped yeah. for the best. And I'm yeah. just like, I, I, I don't know. I, I was helping my husband with an animation in his React app and I came over to his computer. I sat and down. And you threw and, up in your mouth? And yeah, I said, I, know. I said, where's your markup? And he said, you're looking at it. And I was like, <laughs> and I, did that. I was like, that. <laughs> well, was he using like TSX or heaven yeah, forbid it was DSX? DSX. And I, <laughs> I was like, you had to type your CSS animation and your markup all right in this file. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just so rough. And I tell you, Layla, it was like like this. Like I had to scroll like this to find it. I know. But to be fair, he love he has always been an Ember lover and he's doing React because that's what his company needs. So, you know, you do what you gotta do, right? You do what you gotta yep. do. Mm -hmm. Pay those bills. Happy holidays. Oh, thank you guys. Mwah, mwah. Happy Festivus for the rest of us. Oh, I love Seinfeld. Uh, all right. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>